Hello children, I'm sure you have all heard the tale of Hansel and Gretel, but this story is a little different. Once upon a time there was a little boy named Prancel and a little girl named Pretzel. They were very hungry and bored, so decided to go for a walk in the nearby woods to find some food. They stumbled across a strange looking friend who invited them to a healthy food tea party, where there were Mad Hatters and strange characters. The Mad Hatters said, Hello there, young children. Why don't you join us for a yummy health snack? The kids replied, Okay, okay sure. sure. We, we are starving. starving. A dwarf-like man offered them carrot sticks and cucumbers with hummus, orange juice and kale smoothies. Prancel didn't feel like eating all this healthy food. He much preferred junk food and sweets. Sitting at the end of the table was an elderly large woman with a gnarly nose covered in pimples holding a big plate of chocolate Oreos. She said, Ah, uh, would you dears like some sweets? The children replied, Oh, yes, yes please. please. We, we are starving. starving. They gobbled up the sweets. <laughs> and the elderly woman, Bingo, <laughs> said, There is more where those treats come from. Follow me to my house. The kids replied, Okay, okay show, show us, us the, the way. way. She took them further into the woods until they arrived at her house made entirely out of candy and junk food. No sooner were they inside when the woman slammed the door shut behind them. She cackled with glee <laughs> and bought out a banquet of chocolate, sticky buns, hamburgers and pizza. Pretzel thought she heard some gurgling cries coming from the funny shaped sugar coated furniture. Help me! Pretzel looked at Prancel and said, Did you hear that? No. Prancel replied with his mouth full. Mmm, have some more of this chocolate, it's delicious. The old woman kept offering them junk food and sweets. But they were starting to feel sick and weary from too much junk food. With rumbling full bellies, Prancel said, I'm not feeling too well and I'm so tired. They both fell asleep. Prancel awoke to find his sister was fat and all blown up, shaped a bit oh, like a pretzel no. with pimples all over her face. Prancel discovered with horror that his teeth were rotten. Prancel grabbed his mobile phone and dialed his friend Alice back in healthy land. The old woman kept offering them sweets, but they were too sick to eat them, and by this stage could hardly move. Prancel alarmed Alice of their plight. Alice did not hesitate. I'll be there in a jiffy, she said. She rode astride a Cheshire cat. She charged through the gingerbread door and rescued the poor sick children. The witch wasn't happy. Yay! Leave my precious furniture alone, she said. The Cheshire cat took one look at her and gobbled her up. Their new friend, the brave and noble cat, kindly escorted them all back, back happily to healthy land to join the celebrating tea party. Alice said, You shouldn't eat eaten all the junk food. That woman was a wicked witch, and she was trying to turn you into her furniture. Prancel and Pretzel were sorry and started to feel better after eating a delicious feast of nutritious foods. The rescued children were starting to feel happy, healthy and clear-headed uh, with their new diet of fresh fruit and veggies. The moral, moral of, of the story, story is, is, you are what, what you eat! eat.